my brother in law Paul. He's lovely. He's a real people person. Uh -huh. So, James, pleasure to meet you, James. Real pleasure to meet you. Heard a lot about you, James. Really? Zing. Like it. So, uh, tell me, James, what do you do for your day job? I'm asking because I'm genuinely interested. Well, uh, well I work in a sewage treatment plant. It's pretty low key, but yeah. occasionally there's okay. a blockage, which means yeah. someone's got to physically. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, God. I'm so bloody fascinated, James. I'd like to glue my brain to your face. <laughs> Are you even listening? That to is me? so true. I, I'm not even talking. <laughs> me neither. God, we've got so much in common. We should totally do lunch. Oh, I see what's going on here. What? You think you're good with people. Sorry. It all makes sense that the fake matiness, the rapey arm touching, <laughs> the, the way you keep using my name in a way that makes me feel oddly violated, as if you've just dipped your cock in my drink. <laughs> Sorry. It's called people skills. Well, I'm sorry to have to break this to you, mate, but these people skills you seem so desperate to thrust at me as if I'm the social equivalent of a wank doll just make you seem weird and a bit scary. No offence, but in a party situation, you seem about as relaxed and friendly as a serial killer doing a police interview while still wearing his last victim's skin. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, it's, it's, it's totally normal. It doesn't make you the sort of freaky, long-fingernailed loner who gets arrested in Sainsbury's for stroking the bread. <laughs> Being shipped with people is just a very minor disability that you share with everyone who isn't Alan Carr or Top Cat. <laughs> just accept it and move on. Okay, well, piss off and stand on your own then. That's more like it. 